Good afternoon guys and welcome back to Double The Reaction. We are doing more than just reactions so if you haven't subscribed Make then sure please do. do subscribe. We're going to be doing some cooking, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing some chatting, we're going to be doing reactions of course, we're going uh -huh. to do quizzes, everything like that that is different from reactions we're going to be doing. Yeah, this is our new channel to say thank you for 100k on our travel channel, Dublin Travel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. Um, I'm loving this at the minute. <laughs> this is a relaunch, so it is reactions and more, and we're finally getting to that more. We've done a few reactions so far, we're slowly building up, um, but today we are going to do news and topics. Uh, we wanted to have this sent to us, and we actually had an article sent to us that was like close to home. It is uh, an article in an English newspaper, so you might not have seen it or you might not have heard of it, so this might be new to you guys as well. And that is the Daily Mail. Hold on, let me just scroll down so I get the title right. And it is actually, it's, it's not the nicest of topics, but it is relevant at the moment. Extremely um, relevant. And yeah, that's what we want. We want some reactions that are happy, some news that is, not all news is happy, so we're gonna talk about this and give our opinions about it and it's basically that more Filipino health workers have died from COVID-19 in the UK than in the Philippines and it imagines that 13% of the frontline health workers deaths are from the Philippines in the UK which is a crazy amount. How can more die in the UK than have already died in the Philippines? It's a horrible story for, for them to have mm. to write and it's a horrible truth that we're having to talk about. Um, it's not something you would ever you would ever think of. I don't think no. I've ever ever thought of how many healthcare workers are Filipino before. Yeah, you, it, it, it actually makes up I think um, a quarter of all foreign healthcare workers in the UK are actually from the Philippines, which is which is crazy. It's, it's an awful lot, and they help massively. Of course, any death is sad, but the fact that we've had more health workers here die that are Filipino than in the Philippines. It doesn't make any sense. So technically there, in 2019, there were 18,500 Filipinos working in the NHS alone. So that doesn't include sort of private health care because mm -hmm. there are lots of private care. And we know, as we've spoken to many Filipinos in the Philippines, that their family members come to the UK to work for the uh -huh, NHS. Which is great, they help out massively. They help out so much. They're also, always so cheerful and they actually got the recognition recently on uh, English TV from Piers Morgan, which was good to see that they're finally getting some recognition over here because they're doing such a good job. But when an article comes out like this, it shows that we need to be protecting our healthcare workers more. Um, it just makes no sense that more Filipino healthcare workers would die here. Yeah than in the Philippines where every healthcare worker is Filipino um, and we supposedly have sense. the great PPE and whatnot, we, we obviously aren't protecting them properly. So 13% of our healthcare workers that have um, died from coronavirus were Filipino. And only 1% of all our healthcare workers are Filipino, so more Filipinos die because they are more on the front line, a lot of them are nurses and they're dealing right there with each person rather than other people, I suppose, that are protected. They're not getting protected well enough. And wasn't this brought up by a Philippine ambassador to the UK? The Philippines ambassador to the UK, Antonio Lagdameo, he was with the Queen uh, at some point chatting about things like this, but not specifically about coronavirus. And he has called for health workers to be properly protected. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, I don't know if anything has changed since then. It doesn't really specify. This article only actually came out yesterday or the day before, so... I don't know if much has changed as of yet, but it's just crazy statistics. That I'm just trying to see. How many is it that have done in UK? 23 Filipino health. 23. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't expect that many. I'm just trying to see. None should have died in the first place. So they're protected properly. So it's basically, as long as it, as well as it being about PPE, it's also about the fact that in the UK, testing is very, how would you say? <laughs> It's lacking at the minute. So one of the uh, nurses who caught it caught it from being in their care home with one of the care people in care who had it. Yeah, but that's the problem. There's so many arguments to and from it because yeah, more, more Filipino workers have died in the UK, but our testing hasn't been amazing. But we've had comments saying that the testing in the Philippines has been really, really low. So is testing the way forward then? If 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 more Filipinos have died in the UK than than the Philippines, then I don't know. It's just there's so many. You could say you could just they've got the names of them there, which mm -hmm. is horrible. So John Alagos was a nurse, only 27 years old. So it shows that this disease doesn't discriminate. If you were only 27, his mother said he fell ill during a 12-hour shift. 
but he did not leave work early. That is a testament mm -hmm. to Filipinos, uh -huh. how they work. They are so much, so hard working. They do anything to help anyone else. And he, you, he risked his life yeah, to well, stay has, at work. Yeah, it's, they're heroes, aren't they, at the end of the day? There's, if that, I just can't get over the number, the, the sheer amount of people that have died that are Filipino. And you notice it more, actually, my, um, my granddad was in hospital... When we were in the Philippines, so about three, four months ago, and it turned out the two nurses dealing with him were actually Filipino. <laughs> and when my dad went in, he got talking to him, obviously said that we travel to the Philippines, and they were so nice. Sometimes you can be in hospital, people aren't really interested in you, but when it was them, they couldn't like leave you alone, Everyone's basically. So, so friendly, friendly. So, so chatty. Um, three people that have been that have passed away have been described as a ray of sunshine. It's very true. It's very that true. Is that's Filipinos all over, mm -hmm. right? They're yeah. always so happy. But it's the numbers, they're so high. And I don't I've understand. seen other articles that Filipino nurses, healthcare workers are all around the world right now, but that the UK, I don't know if we're the highest in the world where they've died, but to be high in the Philippines is quite a scary Statistic. reality. Yeah. Something that needs to be changed. And I'm pleased the article's come out. I presume if, if you guys were in the Philippines, you wouldn't have seen this article and you probably didn't even know this is true. So this is kind of why we want to talk about these things so more people know about it. Um, and it's so relevant at the minute. So relevant. We are still in lockdown in the UK um, for good reason, uh -huh. obviously. Uh, they've eased it ever so slightly, so we are allowed to go to the park for a little bit longer. Um, but, you know, deaths are still happening every day. Mm -hmm. um, the number has dropped. We're dropping, massively. we are dropping a lot. So, as much as any death is sad, the more it drops, hopefully, everyone can get back to reality sooner. But these guys need some sort of recognition. Um, I know they've got it on the TV there once, but I don't think enough people knows about the sheer amount of NHS staff that are Filipino or healthcare workers all around the world. But they need more protection. To be, I, I just can't get over that it's higher than the Philippines. I don't know the number of um, healthcare workers in the Philippines that have died, but for the UK to have more, and we're, we're as a country with a less a smaller population, and there's only. 22,000 healthcare workers working in the UK, whereas in the Philippines there's going to be probably over a million healthcare workers, so how can there be more in the UK died than have died in the Philippines? It's just so sad. A lot of the descriptions of these people are just saying how they were hard-working and, you know, they make sacrifices. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what people do. That's what the Filipino people do. They all make sacrifices and they all leave their family to work and make their lives better. Uh-huh, we'll, um, we'll leave fair. the list, that we'll, we'll, we'll screen grab this and show the screen recording of everyone's name and the little sentence that was left to describe each one. At the end of the video. Yeah, they need the recognition for sure. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a sadder one today, but they need the recognition, so hopefully they can be remembered in a good light. They've come a long way to help another country, but it's still wrong that more people are dying in the UK than the Philippines, um, healthcare worker-wise. It's not right, it's not right at all. Um, but yeah, that was our first news one, so a little bit different. If you have any other news mm -hmm. articles Send that Send a you happy have one seen, next time. Yes. Something a bit more uplifting, but we'll, we'll but do we either. Do like we'll, truth. Yeah. We like to tell the truth stories, yeah, don't we? Like something to, to talk about, about and this. those of you that are in the Philippines that subscribe, subscribe to this channel or our other main channel, you wouldn't have seen this, and you might not have known this statistic, so hopefully you know about it and more people can be made aware, you can tell people. But yeah, just comment below more things that you want to see on this channel from cooking to reactions to news articles to just things us to chat about, languages to learn, <laughs> games to play, we'll do it. We'll do it, 100%. Um, but if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe, drop us a like. And keep on dabbling.